Welcome back. National Consumer Protection Week is a time to help people understand their consumer rights and avoid frauds and scams. To help with that, the New Mexico Department of Justice has a consumer protection division that is focused on protecting New Mexico consumers. Here to tell us more about that division and the other ways that you can avoid frauds and scams, we are joined this morning by our Attorney General for the New Mexico Department of Justice, Raul Torres. It is great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And again, uh, we know that the, this is all a critical time right now to alert uh, New Mexicans, especially of the aging population, of the frauds and scams out there. Mm -hmm. But let's kind of talk about uh, Consumer Protection Week itself and how it's uh, affected in your office. Well, the, the, the main goal for the week is to just remind people that uh, there's someone there to help. Um, the Consumer Protection Division inside the Department of Justice is staffed with advocates, attorneys, investigators, people that work full time to try to help people who frankly have been taken advantage of in the marketplace. We've been focusing on a lot of issues related to um, the auto industry um, and also solar installers. We've seen a real uptick in that. Um, but we want folks to know that we have trained advocates that are ready to assist in any time they think they've been taken advantage of by somebody who isn't doing business in this state the way they should. And that's usually the fir first course of action that somebody should be taking is reaching out to the Department of Justice office, correct? Yeah, I think, I think a number of, of folks who have reached out to the office have been surprised with how quickly some of our advocates are able to resolve issues, um, especially when they've been uh, misled into you know signing an extended contract that that all the terms weren't properly disclosed or they're in some situation where they think they've really been taken advantage of. Yeah. Now the Consumer Protection Division itself, I mean three of the key things that we should let uh, audience uh, members know, what are those? Well the first is that number one they can they can call in um, there's a we have a dedicated line where people can call in with with complaints they can submit online um, with those same issues, but there's also consumer protection guides that we have available both for uh, buying an automobile, um, installing solar panels and things like that. Um, but the last thing, and I think this is going to be a, a really big initiative and focal point for us in the coming year, is people are tired of the robocalls. Um, I know older folks in particular in our community have been scammed into sending money abroad or, or you know, duped by people who constantly are engaged in these robocalls. We're working with some of our partners across the country to identify the best program, but we're going to get really focused to try and stop that behavior because everyone is just sick and tired of it. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I mean, it's, it's a team of investigators in, in your office under your division, and mm -hmm. especially, like you said, with partners throughout the state kind of helping in that. Um, and even for, like, say, there's like calls that come into the older population of somebody saying, hey, Grandma, I'm in jail. You know, you need to send money. Yeah, those are legit ones that need to be looked into. Correct? Yeah, and, and and part of what we're going to do when we focus um, and roll out this new initiative targeting fo robocalls and and scams focused on on older folks, there's got to be an educational component, sure. right? So we're going to be reaching out to community partners. Uh, we've done work in the past with AARP. We're going to do more of that get out into assisted living homes and things like that so we can make people aware of the dangers, give them some guidance about the do's and don'ts and how you interact with people. Absolutely. And again, these key critical resources, they are at our fingertips essentially, so we have access to them to be able to give them out to families. That's right. We, we have people right now that are ready to take calls, um, handle online complaints. So anytime someone feels that they've been taken advantage of, a friend, a loved one, they're worried about their parents, something like that they should know that they can reach out to the Department of Justice and we're there to help. All right. Attorney General Raul Torres, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Absolutely.